I sort of refer to him as a serial entrepreneur. And so he's one of these guys that he's, he's not content with the status quo, he's always looking at the next thing. And that's what's so exciting to work with him. You don't know what the day is going to bring you. You don't know what industry you're going to be looking at. You don't know in six months from now what new business we're going to be in. He's talking about David McLean. David McLean, the entrepreneur. A risk-taking entrepreneur. He's a risk taker. If you took risk in the 70s and not have cash flow, you're, you're in deep trouble. But he managed to go through that period, and not many people did. The David McLean who contributes enormous amounts of his time and money to a string of nonprofits, hospitals, and universities. He taught us from a very early age that it was really important to punch above our weight in terms of being engaged in the community, never forgetting about uh, giving back and charity and uh, being involved in you know, civic institutions. The David McLean who went on to privatize CN Rail in the largest IPO of its time in Canadian history. He had always a personal interest. His father was a person of the railway. Well, I've had a lot of fun. Alberta gave me a lot of good values. My parents gave me a lot of good values. But I really wanted to live in British Columbia. British Columbia, it was meant to be. I knew he was a risk taker, and that's why very early on I decided that I had to get involved. Involved is an understatement. She's the rock. She was there for him when he was going through these, these tough times in the 1980s and then again in the 1990s. She's got an incredible amount of common sense and wisdom. And uh, I, I think uh, I was just so blessed to have found her. Together, they found real estate opportunities others missed. I bought an apartment building in Burnaby and we converted it to condominium. It was one of the first condominium conversions. Every Saturday and Sunday, my wife and I would go out and sit in there and sell condominiums. And that's how we got started. Thus, the team was forged. David seeking opportunities and Brenda attending to the details. It looked like a formula for runaway success, a formula that was about to collide head on with skyrocketing interest rates. In the 80s, when everything was really difficult, and most real estate developers were basically folding their tents and disappearing because interest rates were 20% and, and it was impossible because I was selling assets to pay interest. And when you do that, it's just an inevitable mugs game. It's going nowhere. Despite the rough and tumble of the real estate market, David was still looking for deals. He found one that would become Vancouver Film Studios, a soundstage that pioneered the film sector in BC and grew into the largest facility north of Hollywood. He can really gut it out in terms of uh, taking fire, negotiating in a hard situation. One of the things he always taught us was to present lenders, for example, or partners with a solution rather than a problem. What saved me was my relationship with uh, what I call a guardian angel. And that kind of relationship with somebody when, you're, when you really need it is what life is all about. Relationships have been at the core of David's life and his career. He values people over all else. He's an incredibly open fellow, and so he allows you to see him. He opens his heart. That openness and connection with others helped him navigate the company through challenging times, and they are at the core of why the Prime Minister called and asked David to take on a monumental task. We needed a chairman, he was a logical choice, and we privatized and he was there and he remained there. He remained there for 19 years and oversaw the transformation of CN from the worst railroad in North America to first. The renewal, the rebirth of CN uh, under David's leadership will be remembered as clearly the, 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 the most critical point in the journey. His vision of this NAFTA railroad, that we could be the best of all railways in uh, North America, uh, you know, led to Illinois Central Purchase. It led to the Wisconsin Central Purchase. It led to the EGNA, which is the railway in Chicago that allows us to move goods from Vancouver right through Chicago and into the South most efficiently than any other railroad. So I think he'll be remembered as probably, you know, the one that thought that it could be done uh, when a lot of people were skeptical. Getting it done included nudging CN to contribute to sports teams and hospitals and not-for-profits and schools in the communities CN serves. 
so many good causes that we uh, that we adopted and we endorsed uh, through the years were uh, you know were were things that were very important to David and became important to all of us. The list of organizations and people who have benefited from David's commitment to giving back is long, and the appreciation of his support is summed up perfectly as follows. You know, he was just such uh, charismatic, uh, larger than life personality that I thought, wow, if, if this is the kind of individual that the University of Alberta has in its roster of great alumni, if this is the kind of person who's going to help us raise money for the campaign, I can breathe a sigh of relief. David McLean, you built and we benefited.